Ahoy, me hearties. I be Captain Tom Mason of the Blue Buccaneers, and you're watching Pirates Parlay. Remember that dice game from the second Pirates of the Caribbean movie? Well, if you're watching this, of course you do. It was a battle for William Turner's soul, and for some people, it was their first look at liar's dice. But it's quite an old game, with many distinct incarnations. And like most games that have stayed popular for a century or two, it's not bad. If you've ever played it before, you may have noticed that the rules often change depending on who you play with. Let's take a quick look at some of the most common versions. Here are the basics. Each player gets five dice in a cup. Roll those dice and secretly check out your results. The first player will guess a value, which means the face value, one through six. And a quantity, meaning how many dice show that value among all the dice on the table. All of the dice means exactly what it sounds like. Every die hiding underneath all the player's cups. In a two-player game, that's ten dice to start. A five-player game starts with twenty-five, and so on. After this happens, the next player guesses higher, or calls you out by saying, Liar. If they're right, you lose a die. If they're wrong, they lose a die. If you run out of dice, you're out of the game. Keep doing this until only one shipmate remains. Here's a few variations you can expect. The ones are often wild, suggesting that they can't be guessed as a value. All wild dice in play are considered to be the current bid value. I've heard tell of versions where the first player may bid the ones, or aces, to deactivate their wild status for the hand, making them just ones. But that sounds a bit like a bore to me. The main difference in gameplay is generally found in the bidding system. There are three common approaches. First common approach. You may increase the value, increase the quantity, or increase both. No numbers may ever be decreased. If you picked up the Pirates of the Caribbean version, which many did, you've noticed that this version is very specific about this. The other versions of the game include these options, but also add one of the following. Second common approach you may decrease the quantity so long as you increase the value at the same time. Meaning you could follow up a bid of three fives with a bid of two sixes. Third common approach. You may decrease the value so long as you increase the quantity. Meaning you could follow up a bid of three fives with a bid of four threes. Confused yet? Well, once your group settles on one of the three, you can forget the other two. Then it gets easier, believe me. So which one do they use in the movie? Ironically, the official licensed game rules uses the first approach, but the movie uses the third approach. In case you don't remember the showdown, here's a recap. Will challenges Davy Jones to what turns out to be a single round of Liar's Dice, and Papa Bill jumps in between them and claims first player status. The exchange went like this. Bill starts by bidding three twos. Captain Jones increases both value and quantity by bidding four fours. Will ups the value to four fives. Bootstrap then increases the quantity but decreases the value by bidding six threes. Davy returns to form by upping both and bids seven fives. Dear William one-ups him in quantity with eight fives and the anti-climax comes when Billy Boy shouts out something goofy to derail the whole contest and protect his son which makes you wonder why he was allowed to play in the first place. All of this suggests that in this example, the quantity must continue to rise regardless of the value. Someone didn't read their own rulebook. My guess about the Disney rules is that they went with the easiest one to explain, knowing full well it would mostly be played by kids. If you Google around, you'll quickly see that this game has lots of different ways to play. But in the interest of keeping things simple, we've stuck with the versions that we run into the most. It's most commonly thought of as a party game, and we suggest that before planning said party, you decide on a set of rules and stick with it. And these are the basics as we know them. Have you played a different version, the ones that we've mentioned? If so, we'd love to hear about it. Especially alternatives to shouting liar, because you're not technically lying. You're just a bad guesser, and there's no crime in that. Well, that's all the time we've got for this pirate's parlay. Keep rolling them bones, and we'll see ya on the other side.
<laughs> Let's hear it for Tom Mason. 